Hi, I'm Johannes of NewGadgets.de and this is the Hanvon Touchpad B10, a 10-inch multi-touch tablet PC with Windows 7 and an Intel Celeron ULV processor. And this is the box. It's now available in Germany. At the back you can find the specifications, of course in German, and the key features. Now let's have a look at the specs. It's the Model B10 with the aluminium case, so not carbon and not plastic. We have Intel Celeron ULV7143 with 1.3 GHz, 2 GB of RAM, 250 GB of hard disk, 2.5 inch, so maybe you can switch it with the SSD, a 10.1 inch LED display with a resolution of 1024 by 600. It has Wi Fi BG. Bluetooth 2.1 plus EDR. It comes with two adapters, mini HDMI to HDMI and to VGA. It supports SD cards. It has a capacitive multi-touch display, two USB ports, a 4800 mAh battery, 1.3 megapixel webcam, and it weights under one kilogram and here in Germany you have two years warranty. And now let's open up the box and have a look what's inside it. So first of all we have a quick starter guide. Also colored to guide you through the first steps. There's a little Windows Home Premium book and right here is already the touchpad but we will have a look at it later first of all the accessories so here we have the two adapters first of all the mini HDMI to VGA adapter for your old monitors And there is also a mini HDMI to normal HDMI for your modern LCD TVs or plasmas. That's the German power plug. And this is the AC adapter. And to clean your glossy display, you have a little cleaning cloth. That's all in the box. Maybe there's something... oh yeah, there's something. I don't know if it will be in your box, but this is a screen protector. So now let's have a look at the touchpad itself. Here it is. Of course it's a glossy display because it has a capacitive touchscreen. Right here is the hand one logo, up here is the webcam, and down here we have an optical mouse. On the left side you have the DC in. Here's a little switch to browse. Here we have the mini HDMI out for your adapter. Here's the Wi-Fi button, there's the power button and three buttons that you can map yourself. There's also a speaker on the left and right side. There's the port for your headset and the microphone. Here's the VGA out, two USB ports, and this is the card reader. At the back you can find, of course, the Windows key. It's an aluminum back. Here's the Intel Celeron sticker, the Windows 7 sticker. And right here we have the rubber feet. Here are the ventilation holes, and up here is a Kensington key lock. So we are going to start it for the first time. Here we have the status LEDs. And now we are going to set up Windows 7 Home Premium. And as you can see, the screen is very responsive.
Okay, a username. Let's choose newgadgets.de or newgadgets.de. And as you can see, the keyboard is very nice. And it's easy to type on. And I don't need a password. Okay, we accept these agreements. Okay. Next. And just wait, it will restart and then you can use it. So this is the Windows 7 desktop. As you can see, very fast. Everything just works. If you press and hold, you can simulate a right click. And let's have a look at Solitaire. A very nice game for touchscreen devices. So thanks to the Celeron processor, it's very fast. Very snappy and there are no lags. And let's have a look at the Windows Experience Index. It's here, right click on computer and it's 2.9. I hope you can see it. Now I zoom in. 2.9, maybe it's the processor with its 1.3 GHz. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's the processor, but the RAM is 4.9, the graphics is 3.2 and 3.3 and the hard disk is the fastest with 5.8 and last but not least let's check out the optical mouse down here so it's very easy to use it and if you press and hold you can simulate the right click and if you click normally you have the left click So, for example press and hold and you can access the menus. So this was my unboxing and hands-on video of the Hanwon Touchpad B10. Make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel New Gadgets DE because I'm going to review the Hanwon the next days. I will try to install some games and benchmarks and you can see the results here at my YouTube channel or on newgadgets.de